to be to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God had dealt to every man the measure of faith. And then I just want to, just a couple more verses in Ephesians. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that none of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. And in my time in serving the Lord, you know, I've been around for, let's see, 77 years when I walked in the church with my mom, my parents were saved. And it goes way, way back. And times have changed. And uh, in serving for 53 years through six or seven different pastors that we had and everything, there have been a lot of changes and things which you thank the Lord for. Because we can only be thankful because God gives us the time of our lives. We have nothing to say. We have nothing to do. We cannot predict but to be thankful every day and give him the glory. Amen. Because, you know, God says, I'll give my glory to no one. And I'm not, I don't want any glory. That's the reason why I said, I didn't want anything. Because all I was doing was serving the Lord day by day. Amen. But I was thankful that I started at a younger age. And day by day, it's a good number of years. <laughs> and uh, that's about all, Pastor. <laughs> well, we as a church are grateful. There are some uh, passages, there's a particular passage of scripture that I've identified that I'd like to share with you because it's it's a part of something that we that we want to give you, Joe. And I, I know Joe has already talked about how he doesn't want anything and he doesn't want recognition and we I, we I want to tell you, I respect that deeply because I know his heart. His heart has been to serve the Lord, been to serve the church. He's been faithful to this church. He's been here from its beginning. That's right. From the very beginning. Charter member 51. Charter member 51, 1951. Wow. About a half a dozen days. We'll be there in school. <laughs> <laughs> How many other charter members do we have here? Stand up, stand up. Would you stand up? <laughs> but we're we're grateful. It, there's not many churches that can go this many years and say that they still have people like these people, and and they're still serving. Amen. In the church, still serving after 51 years. Um, I got this for you, Joe, or we got this for you as a as a church, and it's a it's a little time piece, as you say, as you see, because you spend a lot of time here, right? <laughs>
years, Lord. We still have him. He's still very much a part of who we are. We pray that you continue to bless he and Violet, Lord, that you keep your hand upon them. Keep them healthy, Lord. After all these years, you've continued to keep them well. They've gone through the ups and downs with their family. They've gone through the heartache with the rest of us and losing one of their boys. But, Lord, I, I just pray that you're, uh, well, we know he's in a much better place and in a much better way thank today. You. We celebrate that. But, Father, we just pray now that your blessings would be upon them. We thank you for them as well as all of these other charter members that have been here just as long. And, God, we thank you for their service and their heart for the sake of this church, the church that you've given them and that you've given us to enjoy with them. We pray your blessings upon them in every way. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.